Absolutely. You know, Fortnite is just one of those games that I think is going to, it took the world by storm and it's going to continue to do mm -hmm. so uh, in the future. But nonetheless, I think maybe our first match uh, might be almost ready to go, as we'll see. It's going to be kind of oh, uh, yeah. interesting how we're going to be showing it today. <coughs> so uh, we're going to be doing it uh, top, bottom is going to be the, the two teams. So Ninja and King Richard on your left, Summit and right. Shroud on your right. And we're going to be actually looking at their perspectives, their streams. Uh, but you do notice there is a difference between the two, but there right. is, in fact, a delay on Ninja and King Richard because you got to watch out for those stream snipers. Oh, of course. Okay. Gotta Especially be in a tournament remote, like not this. Not taking any chances. If they get stream sniped that much in public matches, I can't even imagine in a tournament. <laughs> so I, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all on board for that. Right. Definitely gonna be possible. So it looks like as uh, both players load in for uh, both Summit and Shroud, they're gonna be choosing Greasy Grove. Now, I, I think it's a pretty interesting choice. Not anything like super high risk. Like they're not going tilted to start things off. They're not going to, you know, the Dusty Depot or uh, Dusty Divot now, rather. But uh, you know, kind of going for something a little bit more casual. And we'll have to see how the, how they kind of kick things off here. Yeah. I, I'm on the side of thinking that you almost have to go to Tilted, uh, assuming yep. you know the, the population is, is still there. Um, I agree. You, if you go to an, a less populated area, yeah, you loot up, you keep your you know your kits good, you keep your life, but you get in a situation where you might have to make some pushes you don't want to make late game because Absolutely. you could be behind and kills. I mean, you can come out of Tilted Towers with six, seven, eight kills. Some you know sometimes each. I mean, it, it's. Right. From from a competitive standpoint, with you know the way the game's played right now, I almost feel like you have to go to Tilton. And just and, and oh just and just to set it up for you guys, if you don't know what what the rule set are, uh, it's actually two players. Uh, you see, they all are on a team, but they're not in fact playing with each other. It's only going to be two players playing with each other. For example, Ninja King Richard, and then uh, Shroud and Summit are going to be playing with each other. Uh, but how it works is it's based upon kills. How many yep. kills can you get with your teammate? Now, of course, if you die early on, that's really going to set you back uh, in terms of at least winning Ooh. that current Ooh. round. But already some stuff going down is uh, we're seeing some nice kills coming in from Summit. And this is big for them, right? Because it is. when you look at the team who they're facing off against, King Richard, Ninja, we, we, we obviously talked about this earlier, Ryan, the fact that these guys lead, or at least have at one point, led in like the duo's kill record. Mm -hmm. So starting off early, granted, I mean, a, a risk to go to Tilted, a risk to go to, to a very high populate area would be a problem. And actually, uh, looks at the top you look, left, King Richard's down. King Richard actually wow. ends up getting taken Ninja's down. Ninja, Ninja, too. And Ninja is as well. Wow, that is huge. I mean, like I said, guys, it's based Ooh, upon wow. kills. And, and if I had to guess, Ninja and King Richard might have went over to uh, Tilted. and Potential. You know, I mean, who knows? It's a high we'll risk. We'll actually see where they, where they land here. It's I, kind of like a replay. I, I almost, I, I guarantee you they went they went Tilted. And, and the reason being is because it's such a high risk, high reward area. Like like Ryan was saying earlier, you can wow, come out man. with like at least 10 kills, eight, 8 to 10 kills. I mean, I, I was watching last night. Um, uh, some other streamers, and they were just dominating Tilted. And Nick Merckx was going in there, and he came out at one point with 11 kills. I mean, that's oh, absolutely insane. Shroud. But look at that. Shroud already getting dropped. <laughs> what is going on? So now if we look at our kills real quick, I think we saw four. I think three from Shroud. Yeah, so they have th three for Shroud, one for Summit. Well, they actually tie. They actually tie four for each. Four, four. Okay, that's. Wow. I mean, that's to be honest for Ninja and King Richard, that, that's actually best case scenario. That's a big break for them. Yeah, especially. I got it. Down like, like that. So let's go ahead and see where they landed. I'm at, okay, well, we'll not be able to see where they landed exactly, just because of the uh, massive delay. But I mean, already kind of kicking things off. We're looking <laughs> at their pers or at Shroud and Summit's perspective, and we're like, oh my god, like they actually died. But they've had to have gone to a high populated area like a Tilted, a Dusty Divot, etc. Mm -hmm. um, as we're actually going to hop in to see exactly where they did land at. Oh, it no. looks like they actually went for Pleasant. Pleasant. Yeah, so Pleasant, wow. a very populated place from time to time, can get some great loot there. But it seems as if well, we'll obviously be able to witness what they kind of portray. It's kind of nice that we actually get a delay because we get to watch one team's perspective mm -hmm. of how they played. And uh, you can obviously see King Richard a little bit intense, like he's uh, he's in the zone. But uh, obviously, as it seems, we'll be able to witness exactly where these kills came in from. As uh, like I said, guys, we're tied in. We're tied. Final map already, kind of getting ready to come up underway here soon. You know, what I, what I find so interesting about these tournaments, at least so far, since we don't have the, the private lobbies, the fri private matches, is right. that they're, they're literally spawning into a random match where you can have oh, yeah. literally a plethora of people uh, playing, and you never know what kind of skill set you're going to be going against. Yeah. Um, and, and that just adds for such a unique aspect, at least for these tournaments. So Absolutely. there's a lot of random variables that can happen, and, and as we just saw, both, uh, both teams got dropped relatively quickly. But, I mean, lucky for, for either end, I mean, they tie at four kills, so they're going to get a second go at it, and I'm um, just kind of curious to see how how he drops so quickly. So I mean, his, his kit started off pretty good too. He he didn't really have any early engagement. He did get a hold of a an AR. He got a blue pump, a green pump. I mean, his and then obviously he opens a chest here. The better ARs. His kit started off pretty good in a, a fairly low populated area. And Ninja's not looking too bad either. He's got the blue pump. He has the uh, the tactical shotgun as well, um, which he could be nasty with both. And already in that fight, as we see. Had to, had to. I mean, something special had to have gone down for them. Pretty oh, low for mats. Sure. 
Oh, here it is. So he knocks down one. In. One thing to keep in mind, too, guys, is I mean, they could potentially be running into four people per squad at once because they are, they are running true. in the squad right. game. So You're right. So it's Ninja does get two downs. And th this is where the kills have to come in through because I think we saw Ninja mm -hmm. with three, King Richard with one. So uh, obviously early downs are nice. I think King Richard on the other end actually gets down quickly. There comes the uh, the third down for Ninja. And in these situations, there's the importance of getting the full oh. kill right there, right? Yeah. So yeah. If he right. had two down there. It's, it's good that he got the full kills there because if he doesn't get those, and then he dies, right. revives, and gets no kills, and this thing, is all based on kills. Right, that's the crucial thing to be looking out for as mm -hmm. well. It's like, you know, it's nice to down someone, but generally, like, looking on, mm -hmm. you got to solidify those kills, and I think we're going to be seeing that a lot more throughout this tournament right. is guys making sure that they find the kills, the extra pump shot to the head of the down body, mm -hmm. like whatever it really takes to make sure that those kills do not have a chance of taking you down again. So uh, there's a lot of like little things like that to be looking out for on the tournament, just like little things that you're not normally used to seeing, right. but have to come through in order to uh, obviously for sure have some results. And I think that's kind of se helped separate guys like Nick who've been doing this on a daily basis from other players who haven't quite played this format yet because they kind of have the little better decision-making process, been yeah. in the situation a few right. more times exactly. and kind of know, um, you know when you should be going for a full kill, when you should be kind of resetting, looking Absolutely. for more people. Um, so, yeah, I mean, good, th good thing he got those kills on the ground because if, if he ended that with what would have been, I guess, one kill for each of them, that would have been really bad coming into the second round. Oh, for sure. And, of course, uh, for those who are kind of just joining us, what match are we watching right now? We've got Ninja. The king of Twitch right now, along with, actually, King Richard facing off against Shroud and Summit 1G. Ladies and gentlemen, they are tied at four kills apiece heading into map two. This is it, unless they somehow tie, which is highly unlikely. But this is it, right? I mean, this is, go, like, go at it or go home. Like, these guys died within the first, what, like, I think that we were in that game for maybe three minutes. That, and, that, yeah, basically. And then things kind of ended it out. I mean, like, ideally, right, both of your guys' opinions, heading into this next map, where are you going? Like, like, what's the idea, essentially, loading in for this next map? Do you go for something risky? Or, no pun intended, obviously. <laughs> risky. <laughs> or, or do you try to go somewhere, like, a, like, I don't know, like an anarchy, or, or something that's a little bit more passive, kind of play your game, play the long game, essentially because this is, this is probably going to be the final map. And, and that's the most difficult thing. It's a hard, it's a hard it, question it, to answer, it's, I know. It's really hard to answer because, I mean, do you want to risk it all, you know, go tilted or, or somewhere else, right? Or do you want to play it a little bit safe? And I think one thing that you do have a little bit of an advantage of, obviously, at least in this format, is you can kind of tell where the other team is going to be dropping at. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of determine where do you exactly, want to drop, yeah. right? So if you see one going tilted... Does that kind of force you to go tilted? Maybe do you go to a little bit of a uh, slowly populated area because Absolutely. maybe you can kind of get some kills there, hoping the other team you know dies off. Then at that point you can just kind of cruise through, get some easy kills and easy picks, and and then take it over the team. Um, I, it really, I mean, that's so difficult to, and I would love to know what, what the viewers in the chat are thinking. In oh, terms absolutely, of it, yeah. Know. Of course, guys, if, if you're if you're new, don't be rogue, right? C obviously, comment what your guys' thoughts are. Get involved in the Twitch chat. Uh, let us know what you guys think is going to be the result of this map number two. As Summit and Shroud are ready to go. We'll see where they're going to be landing at. It looks like they could be fatal going fields? for a Fatal here. Taylor, this is actually one of your favorite choices. Oh, I love we Fatal. We were playing though. yesterday, and you're <laughs> like, man, we got to go Fatal, Secret Chest. It, it's the place to go. Uh, the reason why I love Fatal is because of that little divot that's over there, uh, as you can see in the right-hand corner of Shroud there. The reason why I like that area is because sometimes you'll spawn up three crates. You'll have one inside the semi-truck. You'll have two. Uh, one's going to be on the car, and then the other one's going to be on another vehicle over there. You can go get your Pop Rocks, jump over into the rock area. I love that the Pop Rocks, and then you, yeah, the Pop Rocks are great, great addition. We'll talk about that in a little bit because <laughs> yeah. um, I'm sure we'll see some Dusty Divot later on. Uh, and then you bust a Pop Rock, go over to the little side, and you have like this little crater area as well. There's usually another chest there. And then on top of that, you can jump over, go through Barn, and then there's right. going to be another chest underneath uh, by the little river area. So you can get quite a few chests. And normally there's also a pump shotgun or at least a tack shotgun on top of that truck. So it's a great area to go to to kind of uh, stock up a little bit. I, I like these areas personally, you know, Fatal Fields, Anarch Acres. I like those because of the line of sight. It's a very open area, right? The, the, all the fields. You have your little areas like we call this long barn that, that Summit's in right now. Right. But in team fights, obviously in squad games, I like that there's a lot of lines of sight. There's a lot of areas you can kind of team fire. And it's um, crucial to find long range weapons mm -hmm. as well. Like it was nice that I think it was a shroud picked up like a blue tack, but yeah. like those are nice for in close engagements, but everything about Fatal Fields, everything about the farms really mm -hmm. is those long distance fights like you mentioned there, Ryan. Yep. But uh, Blue AR actually picked up here for some. And as, like I said, they they didn't really go with the super you know aggressive route. They want to kind of play a little bit more passive. And when you're facing off against the duo that is King Richard and Ninja, that's kind of what you have to do, as I believe uh, no kills found as of yet. We do apologize for King Richard and Ninja not starting up yet. They do have a lot longer of a delay on their stream. So the uh, 
Well, obviously, bar to the right is the current screen as of now. Well, looking at the mini map, obviously we 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 have the stream up for Ninja King Richard. They're obviously delayed a little bit, but just looking at the mini map from uh, Summit and Shroud, um, we saw that they went to Lucky Landing. So that's currently where Ninja and King Richard are okay. at currently. So uh, that's, that's a, a pretty high decent choice. It, yeah. It's a it's a decent choice, obviously, if uh, the circle is in your favor, right? If you don't have to run so very far. Now, I want to point out, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I feel like every time that I go Lucky Landing, there well, it used to be. There were like probably 35 John Wicks that just happened to agree <laughs> with me on wanting to land there. And I, right. I I never really see a whole lot of success there, which I never really see any success anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, Come with, on, with you're all right. With my handful of squad wins, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but no, obviously it could be a pretty good choice. We'll obviously see how it works out for them as they are obviously uh, you know loading up as time goes on. But pretty decent kits right now. I think actually, look at that gold scar that actually gets found there from a Summit. So that's yep. a okay. fantastic pickup already to start off this game. What are your guys' thoughts on the new burst weapons that were added? Love it. Gold and purple burst. And are I, are we going to see how much? How much of those are we going to see this weekend? I don't know. That, that's that's definitely something that I was uh, very curious to witness to see how useful it could be. Is actually taking a quick look at the map. They are fairly close to one another, not too far. Of course, trying to get in the zone and whatnot, but uh, <laughs> get more on the the burst talk. I know a lot of people were not necessarily critiquing it, but really interested to see how it would be implemented. Mm -hmm. I think well, it was like yesterday it got added or the mm -hmm. day before. Yep. Uh, but uh, I, I got to pick it up a few times. I mean, it it's, shreds. Oh yeah, it, it it's does. great. It, it's fantastic. If, if if you're accurate, I mean, like, what, like 66 per headshot, something like that, you yeah. just can absolutely fry a kid. Absolutely. So, looks like, uh, a little bit, like I said, the delayed. Apologies for that. But Ninja loading in here for some lucky, lucky landing. landing. So, actually, if you watch Ninja's stream, this is, this is like his favorite place to land when he wants to get a kit with no engagement. If you watch when he plays with different celebrities or right. when he's playing, um, and it, he'll just talk about something that's not wanting to feel like fighting, you know, 20 kids at once. He actually likes to land this area a lot. And it's, it's probably like a little bit of a refresher. Like, like we, we got into really close engagements. Mm -hmm. so let's kind of slow the pace down, which, of course, happens to be exactly what... Uh, what uh, the opposite team, of course, of Summit and Shroud are thinking of. And it looks like uh, just as that happens, Shroud picks up a kill leading in here towards Salty Springs. As uh, we do, of course, don't have the current kills lined up. Once the players obviously switch to that, we can kind of see where things are at for the moment. But early kills taking place. And right now Makes it's looking another. pretty decent right now for Shroudy. And seven. Yeah. All right, conspiracy theory time. <laughs> is Shroud rocking the default skin <laughs> so that way the people <laughs> in his game think he's a potato and are more likely to push 100%. him? Wow, that's that's, I, yeah. that's strats. That's strats <laughs> in my book. Shroud's a, you know an ex professional. Uh, he that that's one hundred percent why he's doing it. I didn't see if what is Summit also. Rocking I think Summit's that? using an actual skin. Oh, okay, that's a great idea, and that's that's, that's perfect. He's also using default pickaxe as well, like one hundred percent default. When kit. I see a default player, I am pushing him. Oh, well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Taylor, you're uh, you know, when you, I see, you yeah. like the skins, but you know, uh, you're yeah, pretty much I, a default I have player, spent you know. so much money, <laughs> so much money on this game. It's so addictive because I mean, there's so much customability with this game. Oh, this is actually the skin that was added yesterday. I, I was very oh, tempted to buy this. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't buy it yet, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure it's just a matter. Of time. Yeah, they, they call this game free to play, but this is the most expensive game I've ever played <laughs> in my entire life. Absolutely, <laughs> but. <laughs> For great reason. I have spent some. Well, I mean, like, the skins are great. I mean, you, and, and the dances too. That new dance that they added, the star power one. Oh god. No, hey, no, no. Hold on, don't hate. Uh, don't hate. It's one. It's one of my favorite. Taylor's doing. Time. Taylor's walking around the office doing that. <laughs> pre pre, pre stream, you were dancing. <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> Otherwise, the supposed to get his vocal cords warmed up. But. Uh, got, got the whole moves going on. So maybe. actually, if we look quickly at Shroud's perspective, I believe all four players are right now in oh. Dusty Divot together. If you look at the kill feed right now, King Richard coming with two knocks. And then you got the two kills for the same kids. So Ninja and King Richard are currently getting some kills. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Unfortunately, King Richard's perspective is obviously delayed. But uh, earlier fight, as they did all make their way to Dusty Divot. And this is a pretty interesting aspect. All four players kind of getting in the same area. And th this is a strat that I've even seen early on in the game from uh, Nick Merckx, of course, the console player. He and Cypher won last yeah. week's tournament. Mm -hmm. worked out for them. Is the ability to kind of start off in a game very well. You're up in kills. You can kind of follow the follow the other team. Watch yeah. where they go. Kind of bait out for them. Take their kills away from them. That's <laughs> such a common strategy. It's going to be so annoying for the team that's obviously down in the match or obviously struggling because you have the issue of my the other two guys who are facing off against me could easily with one bullet take my kill. Right. But uh, it's a, it's a very interesting strategy, and we'll have to see how it does pay off later on in the game. But uh, all four players, what within the decent area of each other. But, uh, now, I know there's a small delay, but if you look at the difference between um, Summit and Shroud's kits versus Ninja and King Richard's, we have the Gold Scar for Summit. Yeah. He, he's rocking actually two ARs right now, which is kind of interesting. A lot of blue weapons for Shroud versus a lot of commons and greens on their side. I mean, I know obviously there's a little delay, but I, I'm I don't know. I'm feeling kind of good with, with, 
with Simon Shroud right now. And of course, you guys, if you're just joining us, technically it's even. Loading into this map, mm -hmm. after game one, it was a 4-4 four to four scoreline. Both teams fell within, what, guys, the first five minutes of the match. Yeah. So uh, things are even right now. Winner of this game, most kills in this particular match, moves on to the next round. Of course, this is a double elimination tournament. If you lose, you're in the loser's bracket, so nothing to really be worried about if you're a fan of either of these teams, whether King Richard and Ninja or Summit 1G and Shroud. It's all good. They get another opportunity if one of them loses. But, uh, I mean, based off the players that we have in this tournament right now, loser's bracket round one is not going to be a fun place to, uh, to yes. start off again. <laughs> no, it's not. Absolutely not. And one thing that I wanted to point out about Shroud, with something you were talking about earlier, or at least uh, a couple of days ago, is Shroud, he's, what, about a thousand matches at least? I or actually, I, okay, so I, I went on Fortnite Master, did a little bit of research. He's played 821 games, yep. and he has a 28.87 win percentage. Insane. Now, Insane. that is unreal for a lot of these guys average maybe like a 30% or a 30% win percentage, something along mm -hmm. those lines, and they have 5,000, 4,000 plus games. He hasn't even played 1,000 yet, and he's just right there with them. That just goes to really give a, a massive props to uh, the, the previous Counter-Strike Pro and in Shroud. If you watch his stream, he's one of those, like, everyone has that friend, right? Everyone has that gamer who's just good at everything, right? Oh, yeah. And he's definitely that guy. I, I am not that person. Just letting everyone <laughs> yeah. know now. I'm not that person. I haven't seen him pick up a game and not be incredible at it. So, it, yeah. The more he plays the game, the more he's going to progress. And obviously the whole world's like, oh, like, Shroud, are you going to play competitive for like Everyone's going to be kind of all over him about that. Oh, but yeah. The guy is just too good at everything he touches. No, he was phenomenal at PUBG as well. I mean, he came, kinda, Insane. he came into that game and really revolutionized it. I mean, just with his plays and his skills overall. I mean, his movements are insane, and I think it kind of translate over to Fortnite a little bit. I mean, a lot of players came from PUBG over to Fortnite, but look at the shots he's landing from that distance. And th this is the, oh. the, the very important with the pop part rocks. of this game, right? It's 0-0 zero zero for them heading in to Dusty Divot as it looks like three big ones come in from King Richard, all thankfully with that nice pump shotgun, but that's really going to help them bring themselves back into this game and it's kind of an, a little, essentially a little bit of a replay rather as to what just took place but uh, I mean perfect time to find it when you're right next to the enemy you know they're not finding kills because you're taking them from them yeah, you could actually see uh, on their screen, Ninja and King Richard, that you could see Summit and Shroud clear as day, and I think they were both battling out for those kills. But already, you know, seeing that with the delay, they were at four kills there. But nice knockdown there. Yeah, Summit and Shroud are in great teamwork there, too. Did you see that? Where, where Shroud's kind of up in their face of the build battle with the shotties right. while Shroud's sitting behind, peppering him with the scar. And that's what we're talking about, the rolls, right? So, I mean, it, it, the rolls, I think, could be phenomenal here, and that's why I like the idea of 4v4, because it can get even crazier. Oh, absolutely. You see Shroud building up, kind of Summit from long range. Shroud wants to be in their face, right? This is what he likes to do, the up close, kind of in your face face style. He's used to this type of play when it comes into Counter-Strike, but uh, build battle taking place as it looks like uh, kind of readjusting routes. And maybe Some the, uh, with the Look at the kill feed. Some of what, four kills? Something like that, yeah. So, so Shroud's got four. Summit's got a few as Summit well. Summit just picked a bunch up in both those battles because he got some knocks in the previous engagement. And this is some nice uh, loot that they're grabbing. I think there was a sniper on the ground. Of course, really, if you're in Summit's position, you really don't need anything else but a, <laughs> uh, a gold scar, to be frank. But, but obviously, I, I, shields and et cetera would be I nice. I think but. Shroud chose to keep the, the scoped AR versus the snipe. Or the well, he hands it over to Summit, yeah. Yep. And I think that the reason why he's doing this is that, like, hey, Shroud, based on their roles right now, Shroud's by, by no means going to be in the back lines. He's going to be up in their face with yep. the shoddy, double pump, whatever it may be. And uh, Summit's going to be, obviously, peppering from the back lines with the scar and, obviously, with the snipe as well. Yeah, not a bad strategy at all. Keep him distracted, push up. Like, just look I at this remember building. Ninja. Ninja's, he's just a phenomenal builder. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the guy is just so nasty at this game. I mean, look how he it just it, It's amazing to me how well some of these Fortnite players, pros, and, and streamers in general can just build. I mean, it's just... It's just cr wow. think think about how good you could be thinking like I'm like the best builder in the world. Then you come up against Ninja, and then you really start seeing like what the best builder in the world is like. I mean, well, it's just it, it's I think insane. like some people can obviously you know look at certain aspects of players. Okay, he's a pretty good builder. Oh, right. he's got a pretty nice shot on him. It's one thing to be good at just one of those factors, but it's another to be great at both of them. Like right, the factor right. that once you finally get into a head-on fight versus Ninja when he doesn't have a wall in your face, it's it's a matter of Sh trying to take him out. Shroud fighting a two v one right now. Also finds a scar like, on the ground as like well. Summit got the kill. Just looking at the kills right now, I mean, obviously there's a little bit of delay, but we have six for King Richard, four for Ninja, Shroud with five, and yeah. Summit with five. So we're literally at ten apiece right now. <laughs> oh this is coming down God. to the wire. Only 18 players remaining on the map, too. Obviously four of them being on the same team. Right. right. So the available kills are getting lower and lower. Absolutely. But it uh, looks like knockdown coming in from Ninja a little bit earlier on as uh, they definitely are going to potentially be in the lead. I know it's a little bit difficult for us to kind of summarize where the exact game is for the time, but uh, as it stands, coming down to the wire, gentlemen. Yeah, it definitely is, especially coming into this game tied 4-4. Four and four, So both It's getting spicy. It, it's I love it. <laughs> Great way to start. It's getting really spicy. See you now.
they're just gonna. I don't know. I'm just if really the kills are gonna start getting scarce at this point. So well, every, every kill is gonna matter. Look at King Richard and Ninja's team though. They're they're getting more and more kills. Obviously, we're there with the delay. I actually think they're I think they're, they're, they're ahead, pulling away yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I definitely think they're ahead at this point. I mean, they are. Just look at now. Well, they're ju just, just they're at, at thirteen. That, even, even before, even before they're at thirteen versus ten, but they still have thirty-two remaining with the delay. And now there's only ten as we yeah. see on the side. So. so I think Ninja and King Richard are pulling away. And they kind of broke off a little bit, as we see. Now, Ninja and King Richard going back to Dusty Divot on their screen anyways. And they don't have the greatest, obviously, spot. They have to go a pretty long distance, so it's mm -hmm. really about making sure you're not in the storm rather than kind of preferring kills as it stands. But uh, looking on, Shroud still with that scope. They are doing some damage and uh, picking up some nice ammo along the way as uh, they desperately need to find some kills here. And now there's not many players left alive right now, Ryan. No, and they are. If you notice, oh, we're on Shroud now, but King Richard and oh, Ninja. That is the greatest, like, that's oh so that's amazing to see. Like when a guy's just not reacting, like he happens to be on his phone, like not paying <laughs> attention whatsoever, and you hit him with like eight headshots in a row. Wow. Two headshots back to back with the scar. Oh, Three. Oh, wow. Going Shrouty down. rowdy. <laughs> he knows he's down. He's not one to lose to Ninja and Co. in the first They have to get aggressive right game. now. Yep. I mean that's some they, they have they have no choice. They have to push absolutely everything they oh, see. For sure. So sitting at eight kills and then I, I wonder what his teammates at currently. I mean, it's definitely going to be a close one. Now, currently, what, uh, only six players remaining that uh, for available kills at this point. Right, not including the, the four who obviously squatted up right now. I think they're actually, yeah, they're right next to each other. King Richard's actually right next to Summit behind them. Of course, that's going to happen as the circle closes mm -hmm. in on them, right? Uh, wh what I do like, though, is they don't tend to build up anymore. Uh, from you know, I, I remember watching the streams in the, in the beginning. A lot of players would go into the center, and then they would kind of just build up all the way to the top. But now they kind of they love to push and, and be aggressive, and I guess this game mode kind of a – forces you to be so nobody just yet but it, once that circle closes in it's gonna it's gonna get pretty chaotic i mean obviously a little bit of a delay between king richard and ninja's perspective to summon shroud you see two scars they've got sniper mm -hmm. at their hand they've got plenty of minis to go around as well i mean they're in a great position but it's really about when are you going to find these kills where are these essentially no offense but randoms lingering because it's really going to be a matter of picking them out trying to find where they could be at and i if we could take a, a quick gander i'm not sure if you guys saw the, the overall kill totals right now but it, it's got to be close well at least as the stream delays we can see uh there's only one kill separating the two at this point so is there only one player alive Oh wait, no, okay, no, I no, apologize. No, no, I'm, no, I'm saying no, yeah, yeah. there's one kill separating because if you look at Shroud, he, right. he's currently he has. And there's eight, only, so there's only five people five. alive right now. There's only five. And do you alive. see a knock on the bottom on on Summit screen? Yeah, Ninja, Ninja did knock I, someone. I think Ninja King Richard might be might he be out that, that could be it right that here. Might, that's I think that might be game. I think that's game. Definitely, even with the stream delay, they were still down a kill. So, oh my God, Ninja just randomly knocked someone, hunting oh rifle in the storm, and they've got to have like a campfire. They've got to have some type of. He has a campfire. Yep. Oh, look geez, at that. He just doesn't man. miss. He's just, a, I, I don't know. And I, I love this, right? I just wasn't gifted. Rocking the rocket launcher, baby. That's, that's one of my favorite weapons, and Ninja talks about it consistently. It's the only weapon that you can really use where you're not exposed, right? right. You can obviously yep. rock it wherever you really want to. And look, and, uh, look at that play by Ninja, putting the yep. campfire down while being in the zone. Still that way he's never storm. losing health. Yeah, while the, while the player level. he's that's, fighting, that's yep. next level. The player yeah. he's fighting, and then he's got the, the uh, jump pad on the yeah, way out. The jump pad ready to go. He, he. I, I think the awareness of them is is absolutely insane in that situation, Ryan. You bring it up, right? The ability to know someone's in the storm. Let's try to challenge these guys and kind of go from there. But I believe the game Wait. comes to an end, and I want to say that's obviously a victory for uh for King Richard and Ninja. I, I think I it is based upon his reaction. I, I think they <laughs> lost. <laughs> 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 he's not looking the uh, happiest. I, I, I like that we could see the reaction, so we can actually see. But I mean, either way, they're still in the tournament in the loser bracket. So they're, they're definitely right. still going to be a, a team to go against. And I'm kind of curious to see how that. But we knew this first match was going to be be a deadly one. But oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Ninja. And, and, and it's obviously Ninja and King Richard's first ever match in this, in this tournament that we have, obviously, on Fridays. Which, which I really like. So Ninja and King Richard obviously was a favorite, I believe, going in. At least he was. They, they, were, they were my favorite. They, I'm they, not going to lie. They're, I mean, they're probably they, my they favorite. They had to be my favorite. I mean, because they play so often. And, and not only that, I mean, Ninja's just so nasty whenever it comes to building. But King Richard was picking up some nasty knocks. But and I love this, right? You see Shroud picks up. That's when he picked up three kills. Ninja immediately there. Let me grab this loot. I mean, hey, Shroud, thanks for doing all the work, <laughs> We appreciate gonna, it. Yeah. Thank you so much for bringing us back into this game. But you can see how close it really was down to the wire. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this game is a little bit delayed. Uh, but we'll obviously be able to witness how. Ninja and King Richard managed to pull this game off in the very last moments 
of this first series. King Richard well, sitting at ten kills. I was going to say wow. one, one thing that's funny to think about is when you you know like these four players, for example, are all going to finish somewhere in the ballpark of, of you know ten kills, give or take one or two on either end. Right. And when you think about that in terms of that one team getting essentially the ballpark of forty kills, taking yeah. out forty percent of the map on their own, it's yeah, just it just it, it just shows you how high level these guys are, how good they are at the game, and. It's just obviously really fun to watch. Yeah, because obviously, guys, if you're just joining us, I mean, it's essentially oh. a two v four in every fight. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, at least oh, if you're yeah. going against a, a good coordinated team. So a two v four in every fight. Obviously, th th they got their backs already against the wall, but I mean, they managed to wipe out Ooh, the map King completely Richard, with his eyes on two. Yeah, he's calling them out. It's potato season. <laughs> <laughs> Farm fresh, baby. Yep. And here comes the grenade launcher onto the uh, Lake Island. Ninja's accuracy That's with the nice. grenade launcher yeah. is is better than anyone I've ever seen. You've never seen me play, then. Obviously. <laughs> You're not <laughs> missing much. Fortunately, I have. <laughs> I'm not hitting much. I think it's fair to say. Mine's casually just in a field, like taking out some grass, like being kind of rather annoying. But that oh. guy's not even turning. Potato <laughs> season. <laughs> yeah, Ninja, saw the, Ninja the, literally saw the machine gun. I was like, okay, this is about the, to be the easiest kill of my life. The close range LMG. Ooh. Oh my God. Is that? A, I don't even know what. Oh, he had the Famas oh, there for, the, for a that? time. So. Yeah, just just good the defensive builds. Yeah, the defensive builds that we're going to be seeing currently has three downs. Is is insane. Oh wow, beautiful yeah. shots. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we get like a sound by yep. ready production by chance? Just uh, as soon as we see a a mobile so player going. I love that play. That's something yeah. I want to point out. And, and and I I was watching a lot of streams and I recently picked up the strategy. So if you notice, a lot of times whenever you're shooting a wall, they'll rebuild the wall. The opponent inside will start rebuilding the wall. So you actually beat them to it. Yeah, it's, a, do, it's a race essentially. You knock, you knock the wall yeah. down. You rebuild the wall for yourself. Then at that point you can edit it. And then they're they're kind of screwed really. They're just mm -hmm. like an animal trapped <laughs> in a cage. <laughs> And Especially the, when ninjas coming after you. And now you have the key, basically. Is, is, uh, <laughs> I mean, really, honestly. Kind of what's entailed. But yeah, and they do, they do a great job. I mean, like, thank God, right, that there are guys, like, what, four or five players all around this loot league position? Kills. I mean, this is what kind of does the game, right? They, they know exactly where one of the final teams is remaining. What we, I think we see, like, at least four, if not five kills come out there. I think that was what so doubles they, they for both Ninja the and King Richard. King Richard got two kills out of that. I think. I think Ninja picked up what three kills from there. I, I know he got at three the end. They got three downs. I think, yeah. I think three we saw double digits from both of them. So they I were. I think it was twelve and ten. Was it okay? So yep. within the twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four range, mm -hmm. something like that. I mean, you would talk about two guys picking up just about nearly thirty percent of the kills. Yeah. Insane. When you're in a constant two versus four mm -hmm. in the squads, I mean that is absolutely unreal. And I think it's fair to say why they are the number one seed, why they are the favorites to win this tournament. Ninja obviously not technically a pro Fortnite player, but everyone knows he's one of the best in the world. Yep. And you've got King Richard, right? The captain of Team MBS Fortnite. I I mean these guys are just absolutely unreal players. And granted you gotta I I, I gotta say this. Massive credit to Shrouded Summit. I think they had a, oh, a yeah. phenomenal performance. Granted the first game they both kind of die early. That's probably a little bit of a positive if you're in Shrouded Summit yep. position. Uh, no, no, if you're in Ninja and King Richard position, because, I mean, they should have, I mean, they were still alive at that point when Ninja and King Richard got dropped. So if they would have picked up some extra kills there. Well, I, I think as far as, like, the game comes to an end, you're looking at the score line, Summit and Shrouded, oh. like, hey, we're even. Oh, after game even one. Oh, yeah, no, 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 you take no, that absolutely. all day. Take that all day. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. But still, got to give, gotta give credit to those guys. And a, a fantastic game one to kind of kick us off with. Mm -hmm. Obviously, players die at the beginning of the game. We load in here for the second map, and it comes down to the wire. I think there was like maybe 15 players remaining, and they were pretty much even. So Basically even. I, I, I'm not sure who exactly caught it. I know, Ryan, we were kind of mentioning when, when King Richard had the sniper rifle out, he was kind of limiting those second, that third player, where are they at? Let's kind of uh, you know figure out where these final positions are going to right, be. Right. But they go end up going to Loot Lake, the aisle in the middle yeah. of the entire yep. uh, lake, and that's where I think what, like four, five, six guys are at. And uh, that just I think there was at least four of them. I know there was one full team over there. Right, so that's sure. Be props to like someone's vision. Someone caught the eye of at least a few players, and they kind of challenge it from there. But really, kind of comes down to the wire. And that, that, I think it's a, a great way to kind of set up to today's tournament, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, for our first series. That to me was probably one of the most interesting uh, round one games. Of course, we have another awesome games to come later on in the tournament. But uh, fantastic way to begin things, boys. Yeah, absolutely, man. And it's only the first round, so it's going to be great as the tournament is in fact going to continue. But hopefully, we'll we'll get. Uh, I don't know who who do you guys want to see for the next one. If we if Ooh. you if you had a choice, obviously nothing works perfect. But if you had a choice, who would you want to see next? Ryan, what you thinking? I want to see the defending champ. I, 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 I want to see. I want to see my man Nick Merckx. I want to see yeah. Cipher PK. I, I want to see the boys hold it down. 
I expect them to continue to make a run like they did last week. That, that's what I'm looking to see. I, I, I personally, also along with that pick, not just to duplicate what you just said because that's kind of what I want to. <laughs> but uh, I want to see the phase guys. I want to see the TSM yes. boys, Hamlin, TSM, Saquon. Yeah. Like th- those those two be, could be teams who are a little bit sleeper picks. They obviously don't maybe get as many numbers as the guys who were just on screen. But you can argue, right? Like the amazing. But I think Hamlin's has like a 43 percent or a win percentage. Hamlin he does. Like, he does. He does. Like what? What yep. even is that? Like mm-hmm. that, that. I think that's the highest out of like regular popular Twitch streamers. Uh, you know, as far as percentages are considered. But obviously, guys, a number of awesome games to come. Of course, we're going to head to a quick commercial break, but when we return, more awesome action here from the Friday Fortnite 10K powered by UMG.